So someone asked me the other day about the 3D printed shocks I use for the Open RC Truggy, which are these here ones here. And basically they're experimental, which is the whole theme of the entire car. Everything is just a huge experiment. And so I wanted to see how far I could take the whole 3D printing thing. And obviously the shocks would be something pretty cool if I could print and which I did. They're not uh, very complex or anything, but I thought I would take one apart and show you what it looks like on the inside. So when I started this project, I only had ABS and when Tallman released their 618 nylon, that changed everything for me because I could do parts suddenly that was actually durable. And uh, nylons are of course are a important part of the shark as this little spring here or whatever you want to call it is made of nylon and even though it can be even though it's compressed almost completely it can still move back to its original shape and that's crucial in terms of <laughs> design of this part because otherwise you know once it's compressed it would be used but so this is what it looks like and it's kind of wiggly I didn't think it would actually hold up I thought it would break pretty instant but it didn't so this one is kind of it's kind of hard maybe it could be even softer but that's for another day so let's remove the cap So this is a cap secured by two screws that obviously needs to be screwed a little more. Okay, let's remove the cap and inside there we have a screw. So the screw head is moving up and down inside this one, this part here. And it's screwed onto the bottom piece here. I don't know if I can actually, I don't have something that's long enough so I can unscrew this part, but it should work. So that's the bottom part and this is the spring itself. The top part and the screw that's inside. So the screw head is moving up and down in this one when the spring is compressed. So these are all the parts and it's a fairly simple design but as a concept it works. Now I think I'm not sure but I think this is nylon 645 and this is 618 because this is a little milky and this is not transparent but it doesn't have the same look to it. Anyway I think this part would be perfect printed in PCTPE which is a uh, mix of TPE and nylon and it's softer, it doesn't react as quickly as nylon so it would be interesting to try that out. But that will be for another day and another video. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you stick around so I can show you more of my other 3D printing projects in the future. Share, like, subscribe and all that and have a great day.